binary computers dominate our digital world. But what if I told you that in 1958, a team in Moscow built a computer that didn't use zero and one, but three values? Welcome to the story of Seton, the world's first modern ternary computer. Seton was born at Moscow State University under the leadership of Sergei Sobolev and Nikolai Brusentsov. The goal? Create a small, reliable, and inexpensive machine for education and research. Instead of binary logic, Seton used balanced ternary, plus one, zero, and bonus one. This elegant system simplified arithmetic and reduced hardware complexity. Seton's memory was modest, 81 words of 18 trits, plus 144 words on a magnetic drum, about seven kilobyte total. It used a one-address architecture with an index register. The ternary logic allowed ideal rounding, fewer conditional instructions, and elegant handling of signed numbers. Despite its simplicity, Seton was powerful. It ran reliably across temperature ranges and voltage fluctuations. It was even cheaper than its binary replacements, but politics got in the way. In 1970, Brusentsov and Joe Golev unveiled Seton 70, a radical redesign. It featured a two-stack architecture and implemented Edsger Dijkstra's ideas of structured programming directly in hardware. Instructions were no longer words, but sequences of trites, six trit syllables. Programmers wrote postfix expressions, like in mathematics. The result, compact, fast, and reliable code. Set in 70 inspired DSSP, a structured programming language that emulated its architecture on binary machines. It resembled fourth, but with unique ternary logic. Donald Knuth once called balanced ternary the most graceful number system. Seton proved that ternary logic wasn't just theoretical, it worked, yet it was sidelined, labeled a fruit of university fantasy. Today, as quantum computing and neuromorphic chips explore multi-valued logic, Seton's legacy feels more relevant than ever. It reminds us, innovation isn't always binary. If you enjoyed this dive into computing history, like, subscribe, and share. Let's keep the spirit of Seton alive and maybe rethink the way we compute.